local bank um, has a case to answer where a depositor has taken the, a bank to court and I know the financial sector is a fragile area um, so we you know I'm just saying that there is some growing concern for the banking sector in particular and um, we have not heard anything at all coming out of that I don't know how much you'd want to say on that and then I want to get to the whole issue of ECAB and the government shares in ECAB but I'd love for you first to comment on what seemed to be happening in the local banking sector. Right, this cause for concern. Mm -hmm. And as you quite rightly said, the banking sector is a very fragile, very mm -hmm. sensitive mm -hmm. sector. And so one always has to be very careful and measure in the kind of words that we use. But there are a number of flags and we are entitled mm -hmm. to call on the government to make some sort of statement mm -hmm. to allay people's fears and to let people know what is going on. When you have a major depositor suing a bank mm -hmm. and suing the CEO and chairman of that bank, mm -hmm. that's a major problem. Mm -hmm. I mean, suppose you had to sue, you know, whichever bank it was in Antigua because you can't get your money. That's a serious thing. Banks are supposed to be able to give you your money when you ask for it. And when you can't, there's a problem. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a big problem because we have had experiences in Antigua when you have an offshore bank that's linked to a local domestic bank, mm -hmm. you have to be careful. Um, we've seen it happen in two instances in Antigua previously, where the offshore bank ran into problems, and then there's a natural tendency to reach to the domestic bank to start to use that as a source for shoring up mm -hmm. the offshore bank. We have to be very careful about that. Here we have a situation where there's an offshore bank that is being sued by a, a, a customer because the customer cannot get their money. And you have the principal person involved in that, involved in the local domestic bank, and it appears as though and this, uh, all of these things need to be clarified so that they're not speculation, issues for speculation. Mm -hmm. But what is being said is that the person has been asked to resign. Now, I don't know what the truth is because the government is mum, mm -hmm. even though taxpayers yes. are the owners of that bank in the sense that the government of Antigua and Barbuda, on behalf of the people, own more, almost two-thirds mm -hmm. of the shares in that bank and they say nothing and we don't want to have any difficulties because it wouldn't profit or benefit anybody mm -hmm. if there are any difficulties there but people need to know people need to be told what is happening so that we do not speculate mm -hmm. because the government is keeping silent and hiding the facts and the truth from the people mm -hmm.